The next thing we want to do is get started by going to our Get Started button. This is going to take us to, so we're in Unity, we're going to go to the part where it says Plans and Pricing. Now we're just an individual, so we're just going to click on the Individual tab right there. There is the student free and personal free. Um, if you're a student, then you can actually get the dark theme for free. And if you can also get the uh, real time cloud diagnostics and five seat team advanced. Uh, if you're not, then the uh, standard would be the personal free right here. I'm going to click on the get started right here. It's going to give me an option. It was going to say first time users, download Unity, returning users, have experience. We're going to say first time user, start here. It's going to give you an option terms. I'm going to say yes, I agree. Remember when you're using Unity, if you make more than 100,000 uh, annual gross revenue in a year, then they expect you to go from a uh, go up to a pro plan. Um, the plus and the pro plans um, are not very expensive, so if you're making 100000 a year, you can easily afford the $100 for it. So what we're doing is when we clicked on that button, we're downloading the Unity Hub setup. And when it gets done, it's, it's going to be our, our hub, our center point for accessing projects, starting new projects, and all those things. Let's go ahead and click on the um, open option right here. It'll ask you if you want to make the uh, changes to it. You can say yes. We'll agree. And then we're going to install. So let's go ahead and click on the finish button and run the Unity Hub. Let's go ahead and click on the allow access. When it comes up, um, I've got projects already going, but on the account top right, we're going to go ahead and sign in with our new account. So I'm just got my dummy account here. We'll assign in with the, uh, the one that belongs to you and your password in there. And you can sign in. If you're not connected to the internet, then you can also just do skip and then you'll have access to it. So now the hub is now connected to my, um, my current Unity ID account. So everything that belongs to that is now set up within here. So that's going to be the basic setup for getting your hub and being able to use it.